Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. This particular diabetic patient has not cut his own nails for over a year now. His sharp nails ruined many shoes and socks, but he was afraid to cut his own nails due to possibly cutting himself. He was hospitalized with sugar over 600, almost getting into coma. Let's see how I can get these thick nails to be comfortable again. Let's get right into the video. We have Beto here, huh, Beto? Yes. How are you doing? Well, I need my nails cut. <laughs> you need your nails cut. You <laughs> told me that you haven't cut in a while, right? For a year. Over a year now, huh? Yes. And then, um, this, these were sharp and it was uh, ruining your shoes, huh? Yes. How many shoes did it did it ruin? Oh, six, uh, six pairs. Six pairs? <laughs> and a lot of socks. A lot of socks. <laughs> it's getting expensive, huh? Oh, my. It's a good thing there's a... Uh, Dollar tree. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was complaining on my nail cutter being kind of weak, so I got a brand new one. Wow. You see how? So you're lucky. You're the first uh, person to try out this. Thank you, doctor. Really strong nail cutter. Everybody's complaining that it's. I wish I had these tools at home. <laughs> right. Well, you got to learn how to use it too. Yeah. It's kind of dangerous, you know. Oh. You you being diabetic. You don't want to cut your own nails because if something goes wrong, mm. then I may have to see you at the hospital. We don't want that, right? No. <laughs> yeah. We only so, like to visit, not to, not to stay. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling me that you, you had to, you were hospitalized like three for, months ago, right? For diabetes. Yeah, for diabetes, right? So t tell us what happened. So you're drinking a lot of juices, right? You're saying? Yeah, I was drinking a lot of uh, fruit juice. Fruit and juice, huh? And I didn't know that it was a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar there. Especially fruits, the, the sugar in fruits are not good for us. Oh my. In, in excess because our body doesn't know how to digest that sugar. It's called fructose. Thank you. And so it has to convert in the liver into a regular sugar. It's a lot of work for the liver, uh, which can cause diabetes, you see. So what happened? So you say it was really high, right? Well. How high was the sugar? 600, when, 600 I ended, wow. when, when I ended up in the uh, emergency, mm -hmm. they had me for three days. Oh, really? Wow. Nothing but IV, medication. Medication, all that, huh? And but you felt bad? Were you dizzy or what happened? Well, I was uh, very dry from my system. Mm -hmm. They had uh, my... my uh, dry? What do you mean dry? Well, uh, my, my body didn't want no, no meals, only water. Oh really? So you're, you're dehydrated. Yes. Oh, I see. That's what they that's what they found out as soon as they got me in the hospital. Uh huh. They put three IVs on myself. Yeah. Because they said that I was lucky not to end up in the coma. Oh, you could have gone in the coma, huh? Oh no. Six hundred would do it. So what 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 kind of juices you were drinking? Oh my mango. <laughs> All the good stuff, huh? A lot of mango, strawberry. Mango, strawberry. Papaya. Wow! All the good stuff, huh? But now I'm drinking uh, coconut water. It's okay for my system. Uh, coconut water, yeah. Coconut water is really good. Wow. It's got a lot of minerals. I'm surprised because yeah. I never tried it before. Oh, really? Somebody told you to try? Yes. But it, my, my main question is that uh, I, I kind of close myself, my eyes, because uh, I'm a caregiver. Oh, yeah. I used to take care of my residents' uh, nutrition a lot. Oh, you did? But my doctor told me that how come I didn't look at him on my own? No, I looked at your own. And that's why he told me, be careful. We got to think about ourselves first. Yeah. But we always find out at the end, though. Yes. We, we, know, we don't know ahead of time. That's the problem. But surprises come, doctor. And we don't want them. <laughs> yeah, well, thank God. They, your mom told you to go to the ER? She took you there? Yes. Because you just didn't look good, huh? Well, the uh, paramedics came to the house. They told me that I was still walking, talking. Mm -hmm. But my mom said, no, if they don't want to take you, I'll take you, so. Oh, really? So they, 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 they took you? That the... They took me to the emergency, but uh, as soon as they checked me, mm -hmm. they laid me down and, no, no, you cannot go nowhere. Cause Your sugar's too high. They saw my eye, my eye, my pupil from my eye. Uh -huh. And they said that I was really, very, very lucky that I didn't end up in a coma. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, 600 would do it. 
Hi, it's me again. Hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you have, leave the word coma in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, I look like mom. Yeah. When I, when I hurt my back um, 12 years ago when I became diabetic, yes. I didn't know, but um, my sugar was um, almost 400, oh. 360. When, when they first, and they called me immediately and said, you may have to go to the hospital. I said, really? Because I felt really bad, yes. but I was in so much pain from my back injury. So I thought it was from my back, you know, because I was taking a lot of medications. Yes. And that's how I became diabetic. So I know how that feels. Well, how, how, how's your system right now? Well, it's good. I mean, I control it well and it's not perfect, but you know, I do pretty well with it. I'm, I'm, I'm on strict diet, you know? Wow. I don't, I don't eat junk or I don't need a lot of processed sugar, you know? That's the problem. Right now, what the doctor told me not to eat the, not to eat the meat because meat doesn't have diabetes. Mm -hmm. He said, try to eat a lot of meat because that's what you need for your uh, digestion right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need protein. But if you eat too much protein, oh. if there's a leftover, it becomes sugar. Yes. So you have to be careful too. So yes, the, the, you reduce the sugar. That's correct. But you don't want to eat too much meat either because it, if, if your body only requires a certain amount of protein, yes. after it does that, then it, it turns into sugar. Okay. So you have to be careful on that too. So you should eat a lot of good fat. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, I'm good fat meaning bacon. like avocados, you know? I don't like bacon. <laughs> bacon? I don't like it. I don't know why. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't have to eat bacon. But bacon is actually good. It's good. Good fat, but uh, uh, animal fat's okay, but uh, the, the plant fat is better. Yes. You know, like the, you I know. Like broccoli a lot. Ooh. Yeah, broccoli, uh, those, but uh, like avocado is the best. Yes. I recommend all diabetics, or all anybody, everybody to. Avocado? Uh, one avocado a day keeps a doctor away. Yes. I, know, I know Apple does too, but this is my saying. One avocado a day keeps the doctor away because it has all the good fats, it's got all the good stuff, it lowers cholesterol, because we need a lot of fat, you see? We need protein too, but we need a lot of good fat too, because every cell of our body is made of fat, right? Yeah. So we need a lot of good fat too. And most of us, it's too much sugar, where it doesn't really do much other than energy. Yeah. And when, you're, when they're done with um, helping you with energy, and then it becomes fat. That's what sugar does, right? Yes. When you have excess sugar, it turns into fat. So that's that's the problem. We want to really minimize the amount of sugar, whatever you need, and then that's it. Because if you don't use it, it turns into fat. And who wants that, right? When I, what I noticed from diabetes that uh, when I was really in the system, I, uh, I didn't have a lot of saliva. Oh, really? It was very dry in my mouth. Oh, dry, huh? Now yeah. that I'm getting better, I'm feeling the saliva more watery. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Is that a little tender? Yes. You feel it? So I'll grind it all down nicely, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Your nail's pretty easy. You just haven't been able to cut it. I didn't want to cut them because, mm -hmm. oh, man, I don't want to see no blood. I yeah, yeah, no blood, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <think>. no. <laughs> yeah, well, you did the right thing. You, you come every, every few months and I'll, Thank I'll you. cut it for you. Thank you. Okay. And then, so you're still taking care of your patients? You, you uh, do? I take care of my mom right now, doctor. Oh, so you're not back to work, like doing your... I'm doing her. I'm doing caregiver for her. Oh, I see. But you're the caregiver for other people? Uh, my last resident passed away in 2017. Oh, okay. So you haven't had anybody since then? Uh, my mom. Yeah, yeah, you just she mom. Has diabetes too. Oh, she does? Yes, okay. I, I take her to the hospital, doctor visits mm -hmm. often. Mm -hmm. If you look at my YouTube channel, I'll show you. Yeah. I have all the videos on diabetes. Thank you. What kind of diet you need to be on, what kind of things you have to watch out for. Yes. I give you my whole routine every day, what kind of exercise I do. Thank you. What kind of herbs or supplements I take. You know, what, what kind of you know, diet I'm on, I, I talk about all that. So I think that'll be helpful. I, I'll, I'll give you a little sheet you can you. take a look. And then the other people, go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlist, and then it has all the diabetes-related uh, videos on there, which will be helpful for you as well, okay? 
And we're gonna send the sample to the laboratory to see what kind of fungus you have, okay? Yeah. And then uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna grind the nails down as much as I can today. Okay. And then, uh, And then when I see you again, I'll grind down some more, okay? So we keep doing more and more. I, I, I want to flatten out this uh, nail, and then we'll give you medicine so that this nail can come back normal, okay? Okay. And then if you control your sugar better, then it will, it will be able to, um, you know, help have the new nail grow nicely, okay? How's your mom's sugar? Is your mom's sugar pretty well? It comes up and down. Uh, it comes up and down, huh? Yeah. She's taking medication? Right now she's on the bottom of What is it? Yeah, she's very strong. Oh, breathing problem? Yes. Oh, really? Oh. Why? I don't know, but you see the type of food it's on. Oh, really? Very often. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. Sorry to hear. Um, we have an oxygen tank upstairs where it helps a lot of people with the breathing problem. Yeah, it infuses oxygen to the whole body. You okay? Is it ticklish? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so we'll talk more about the oxygen tank. Maybe she can try to improve her breathing, getting more oxygen, because when you're not getting enough oxygen, then you're, you have no energy, you see? And that's because I'm... Exercise? Yeah. But exercise is hard, too, if you can't breathe, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, slowly, yeah. Not, not too fast, huh? Yeah. That's take huh? Yeah. yeah. Your other siblings have diabetes too, or no? No. Yeah. Yeah. Was your dad diabetic also? He what? He told me that. Huh? Uh huh. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, is that how he passed? Oh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. But he wasn't diabetic. No. Oh, I see. See, both of my parents were diabetic. You see? That's why I had the diabetic genes. And then when I got when I got hurt, they turned it on. Even though I had a really good diet, but you know, I was kind of out of out of commission. You know, I was. I was in a, yeah, it's uh, genetic, very, very related, you know. Yes. If your parents had it, you have to be really careful. So you don't get it, you know. But it's, it's hard, you know. As, as you get older, if something happens, your body just cannot react very well, you know. Yes. Yeah. This little one's really thick right here. You okay? This one's not ticklish, huh? No. It's strange the other toe was ticklish. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So we got it down as much as I can. Thank you. I'll send the samples to them and then we'll uh, do some more next time I see you. We got this one down quite a bit, see? Thank you. Now it's not gonna mess up your shoes or socks, huh? Put them on now. <laughs> yeah, you can put them on. Yeah, it gets pretty expensive. You know, uh, I may, may, this may sound funny, but uh, I used to do ballet, ballet, ballet dancing. Oh, ballet dancing, really? Yeah. Wow, these are ballet feet? Well, wow. uh, not anymore. But not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to okay. do ballet. Is that right? Anymore. Wow, amazing. But thanks for allowing you to, uh, allow us to uh, film you today, okay? Thank you. Okay, better. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you learn how the fruit juices can cause severe diabetes and how to replace them with good diet. 
For more videos just like this one, tap that subscribe button and check out my next video here. Until then, get educated, get empowered, encourage others today.